Hello, hello everyone. Tashina Gonzalez here with Vivactiva. And as usual, as you hop on here, give me a wave, a hi, a hello. Let me know what city, state, or country you are hailing from. And if you're watching the replay, no matter what venue, Instagram, Facebook, or later on YouTube, then hashtag replay to let me know that you've come by. So I just wanted to do a live right quick. I might be back. I'm not sure. I got a lot going on, like some classes and stuff later today. But I just want to share this new revelation that I had that came out as the quote that you can pause the hustle, right? So there's this whole camp and group of people that are awesome, that I love, that I follow, that are wonderful. And that's the philosophy that I lived by that was too much for me for a long time, right? Like be in hustle mode, be you know, do all that you can, right? So there's the Gary V, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, like all that mindset out there. And for a long time, I thought that's what I was. And a lot of people that like when I put in my little post that I'm really just expounding on that, you know, that's how I was described. Like people would look at everything that I do and they'd be like, do you, do you sleep? Like, do you sleep? Like, I... I wish I had as much energy. Like a couple of my nicknames were um, Tashina the Machina, um, Durobinda, like whirlwind in Spanish. And my philosophy used to be like my whole entire 20s, I'll sleep when I'm dead, right? <laughs> like sleep is for the week. Like that's how I tried to live, right? Now, knowing that I'm not actually D first, I'm like ID or I'm sanguine choleric or I'm actually blue red. That's what I am. And I need a little bit more fun and I need a little bit more rest. You know, I'm not, even people have like, when they, they meet with me, they're like, you are you like, know, you are like the female Tony Robbins. Like that's, that's what I've been compared to before. And I do have that DM me, like that's still there. But one of the things that I've been working on in my trauma recovery is, you know, like workaholism and ultra independence, our trauma responses, right? They're not the healthy, healthiest thing to do. So I went through a whole period where I was working on um, just cultivating happiness. And then I went to the period where I was working on um, self-care. And I've been doing really, really good most of the time, listening to my body, make sure I do self-care. But there was still like this thing in my head that would feel guilty about it, right? Or I would fight it. And for this past week, for the first time, I don't feel like I was fighting it. I felt like I was completely aware and I was conscious and I chose to pause the hustle, right? So if you guys haven't read the post that I did before this, make sure you read that. But just quickly, I had a really tough week. Like Monday, I felt like I couldn't get anything done because my internet wasn't working and so my class that I had was like I got on like 20 minutes late and then I couldn't get into the networking events that I was trying to do and so then I was like I got all this stuff to do but I'm fighting with the internet so I can't so then I felt behind on my business stuff right so then Tuesday I'm like well I'm just gonna go into my office because I don't know what's going on in my inter with my internet so I go into the office for which is 35 minutes away technically and um there's construction. I haven't been there and I don't know how long. And so the construction was just like, I couldn't get off the freeway. <laughs> like I had to overshoot my exit by 15 minutes. I was like, I don't know, seven miles down from where I needed to be randomly dropped off somewhere in Detroit and I had to get back. So I was in traffic and I was on the road twice as long as I needed to be, which was totally not fun. And then I actually went to what's supposed to be my office and I wasn't supposed to go there. My boss calls me. He's like, hey, can you help me with this project? And I'm thinking like, I got stuff to do. I guess I can do it in between calls. And I canceled a call because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have more information later and it's not going to be productive and I need a, to chill. So I just chilled in that time. I went over to the office I was supposed to be at, got with my boss and did what I needed to do had a couple of clients that needed attention. The day was really long. We had a really nice dinner afterwards, but the day was just super long. And I got back home and I was again, it's just like, <laughs> I have so much business stuff that I need to do, but I just need to choose to rest and get enough sleep. The other thing is, is that I also, you guys, 
if you've been following me for a while know that I do have a chronic illness and so I'm in a period where that was acting up a little bit and so I need extra sleep to make sure that I'm well. Wednesday I go into work 35 minutes north a different office and I wake up and I realize that I left my charger at the other office 35 minutes south so now both of my phones are like at 30 percent um and I have to use, you know, I have slow chargers. I don't have my rapid charger. Okay, whatever. We'll deal with it. We got them plugged in. I get up to my office 35 minutes north. I'm there for like 30 minutes. Um, and then I get a message from my brother. Hey, you know how you went to the movies with us? Well, the twins got that thing. So you got to go get tested because you've been exposed. Now, I know I have no symptoms. I feel amazing. I feel wonderful. But I also am just like... Okay, well, now this changes everything. So I have to go to the car, work in the car, because I immediately have to self-quarantine, and I immediately have to take, schedule a test to make sure that I'm not affected by this exposure. I knew I wasn't, and it came back negative, which I knew it would because of all the things that I do. But that was a huge stress. My, I had to text my boss. If I had not been negative, everyone would have to be notified. I was around my boss's boss's whole entire team, like we hadn't seen each other for months. So if it would have been in the other direction, that would have been good. I had to rush down to go get the test. And then I came home, I took a nap. I'm like, I am exhausted. I'm exhausted. I went to worship service and afterwards I pampered. Once again, I made a conscious decision, I was like, yeah, I have all this business stuff to do, but you know what? I have two days off. I have Veterans Day off from my day job, and then I decided to take today off. I'm going to catch up then, and I'm going to pause, and I'm going to take care of myself. And that's what I did. And I woke up. I felt, am felt amazing. I was super productive on Thursday, and that's what came into my head. I was just like, you can pause the hustle. See, so what usually happens, what usually happens like all the time is we like, nope, got to stay in hustle mode, got to stay in hustle mode, got to stay in hustle mode, and then we burn ourselves out. The other thing that we will do is we will keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, and then we throw our hands up in frustration and we stop, and then we're stopped for like a really long time. And neither of those strategies work. That creates inconsistency. So what we have to do is make a conscious choice and be aware to pause the hustle so if you just think if you're pausing something if you're pausing music if you're pausing a movie what does that mean it's just going to be like pause for a few seconds if you go away for too long then it's going to shut down it's going to stop and you might lose your place and you got to do a whole bunch of stuff so we're allowed to pause the hustle and regroup and come back later and say hey now i'm going to make this stuff up there's nothing wrong with that. That's how we incorporate self-care, taking care of ourselves, listening to ourselves, make sure we do our emotional regulation, making sure that we pamper and take time for ourselves. And then we will come back stronger. That is part of what mindfulness is about on an overall level. And so I was just super excited that like I went through that and it was great. It was like, this is exactly what my body needed. Like, now I'm ready to hustle again. Like now I'm ready to, it was just a pause. I still posted a pic on social media. I still responded to stuff. I probably didn't do as much follow-up as I needed to. I didn't organize some of my emails that need to go out. But I knew that I had time coming up and I could schedule it in on that time. So again, for me, this was like a light bulb moment because it's always been, Yes, I've been doing okay about taking time and listening to my body, but a lot of times I will fight it first and then I'll still feel guilty about it. And this for me for the first time was where I had the realization, you know what, no, this is part of the process. Being able to just pause the hustle for a day, a couple days, you're all good. Just pause the hustle and know that you're gonna make all of that up because you have this period of time and jump right back in. So. If this was a new concept for you, let me know in the comments. Have you ever thought about, can you pause the hustle? What things can you do to make sure that you're incorporating more self-care and listening to your body while not stopping the hustle, while still making sure you have that consistency? Because consistency is definitely the key.
So let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts of this. And thank you guys for watching. I don't know if I'll be back. I might be back still with another topic today. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know. All right. But thank you guys as usual always for joining from Tashina Gonzalez, your favorite holistic wellness and self-development and business coach. And I will talk to you guys later. Have an amazing evening. Bye, guys.